Okay, we're back. So I've stitched on the binding and all we have to do now is turn it to the right side. Like so. Back down. So I'm going to top stitch around there. If you want to, um, I would sew over the handles, but if you wanted to, you could then flip them up and stitch on there to keep them up. Um, I think I'm just going to stitch and leave it. It's always a thread, isn't it? So the same on the back with the closure, um, if you wanted to push that up and stitch, but as I said, I don't think I will, I think I'll just leave it. There you have it. Now with the leftover fabrics that I had from the strip, I've made one of these which we did in the previous class so it has its own little wallet to go with it and waste not want not I've um, used what was left of the handle I had just this small piece put a bit of bling on the end as you do and I'll put an eyelet in here and attach that onto there. So there you go. So here's the two of them together. Um, I have a tiny amount of this fabric left. Oh, I should show you the pocket, shouldn't I? So on this one we've got the zipper pocket here and then over here we've got the other pocket we sewed into the lining and on this one I just did the zipper I didn't put any extra pockets in so it was good to make two um, they're a little bit different if you're going to do this style you need to put these little tabs on um, make sure they're on when you do your binding um, I did stitch those up just to put a stitch on each side there. Um, handles don't stand up but that's okay. So that's the bags. So that's it from the bag department. <laughs> I, um, I hope you like them, I hope you make one and I'll be back with you just to show you something else that you'll be getting as a download and um yeah, i've lost the plot now yeah we'll come back and show you the next project shortly bye for now okay back again i think i've got it all together this time so this is a block i created and i kind of liked the way it's stitched out there's not a lot of quilting in it there's just a couple of lines around the embroidery so I put four together and I used my hider seam did it um, with a quilt as you go method so join the back with a one inch then I made um, a one inch for the top and a five eighths in the white so all I have to do to this now to finish it is to put um, a binding around the edge and I was going to use this because that was the colour that was matching the thread and the other but I found this so I'm thinking I'm going to do this as my border around 
around the edge like that. So that's it. So this will be um, available as a download for you as usual in as many sizes as I can possibly get it into. Um, I really like this kind of idea and this pattern so I'll probably look at doing some similar, not the same, but similar designs using this sort of pattern. What I did with this, I actually, it's a motive design that's in the edge, in the simple cut software, but of course you can't fill the stitches in the simple cut. So I took the design as a drawing and turned it into stitches. So that's it from me. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now.